very important. And I think we continue to educate you more. Thank you. Amen. Uh, let's just talk about we are one. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Uh, let's quickly, because of time, we have very few. Because look at the time, the rain. This is season for rain. The rain is warning us. Please, it, it, any moment from now, it rain. So we are one. Let's open the book of First um, Corinthians twelve. First Corinthians twelve. And uh, we may just look at verse 12 there. Yeah. That's verse 12. For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. Being many are one body. Take note of that. You say, being many. It is true. Be many. But one body. Are you there? I read again. So also is Christ. What does that mean? So also is Christ. You take your time from verse verse to 12 to the end. You take your time to read. So let's, let's, we are one. What the Bible is saying here, you take reading, reading, reading about church, the unity in the church. It's really, I mean, the situation at hand, because there, there, there is no strongest bond of law, of law. It really affects the church. Church is not effective the way it's supposed to be. We read about Apostle, the New Testament, the Old Testament. But when you look at the situation, right, you agree with me that we are lack strongest bond of law. B O N D, bond of law. Are you are you with me? The the, the member the member should be closely take note of that. The member should be what? closely united by the strongest bond of love. Tell your neighbor. The member should be closely united by the strongest bond of love. I can hear you. Yes. Because the body is a unit. The body is a unit. Though it, it is made, made up of many parts. Though it is made up of many parts. They form one body. It is with Christ. I take you back again. Why I'm talking of unity? And I say pray for the church. For unity and love. Because the body is a unit. Though it is made up of many parts, they form one body, so it is with cry. It is with what? It is with who? It is with Christ. For we are all baptized by one spirit into one body. Whether you are this, a church, two church, three church, this, this, that. When you take reading from that verse, um, verse 13, it says, For by one spirit we were 
all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Greek, whether slave or free, or and have all been made to drink into one spirit. This means the meanness, the meanness of the meanness members makes up a part of the body. That's the smallness. The meanness member makes up a part of the body. This means there is no part that may be pushed aside. Every part is significant, important. Every part is what? Important, significant. Regardless of how small or big. All his members are dear to him. Jesus. All his members. Our are dear to him. The hand has need of eyes. Of eyes. And the head of the feet. All his members are dear to him. Let's say, we are one. I can hear you. I can hear you. We are one. Every member of the body mystically cannot have the same office and the same place. Mystically. Every member of the body mystically cannot have the same place and office. This means each member has its particular work. You have your work and I have my work. God wants us to be the center of our own world. But what is the crisis, what is the cause of the crisis today? The cause of crisis Trouble in the church is not too far from imitation. Imi what? Imitation. Imitation. What do I mean by imitation? Let's open the book of, um, go to the book of, um, Efficient.
Bagi dia In efficient five, I will take reading from verse one. Therefore, be imitator of God as dear children. Be imitator of who? As well. I can hear you. Be imitator of God as dear children. Now, let's open the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11. You have it clear here. 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 1. Imitate me just as also imitate Christ. Imitate me just as also imitate Christ. Read it again. Imitate me just as also imitate who? What of that? Now I say the problem, the challenge we are facing is not too far from imitation. When the spirit does not suggest to you, because the spirit of God is supposed to suggest to us what to do, because it's our guy guide. He will tell us talk. Don't talk. Speak. Don't speak. Look. Don't look. Teach. Don't teach. Pray. Don't pray. Sleep. Don't sleep. When the spirit does not suggest to you, what happens again? Imitation. And you want to be minister, you want to be pastor, you want to be Christian, you want to be you want to be seen as a believers. If you want to be seen as a believer and the Spirit of God does not suggest to you, what again? You have to imitate people. You look at how is it that you 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 do as you you have read in some textbook, some books. There are many books that teach how to pray, how to work, how to be kind to God. Yes, you just have to go by what you have read. Or what you hear from others. You have to imitate others. This brings crisis to the house of God. If I imitate you the way you pray, and I pray in the same way, meaningless, I do, and often time destructive because God is not aware of what I'm doing. And so very frustrating. very frustrating. So the challenge we are facing in the church today is not too far from imitation. And the work of God is not permitted. We can imitate our others in a circular job. But when it comes to the work of God, working with God, God Almighty, you have to hear from him and he must also hear from you.
um, I said the member should be closely, closely well united by the strongest word, bond of love. Take note of the word love. I mean the love that says beyond intimidation. Because when I say love, say I love to, I love my neighbor, I love everyone. No, not that kind of love. The love that sees beyond intimidation. When we are intimidated, we should love. The love that sees beyond hatred. When we are hated, we should love. The love that sees beyond persecution. When we are persecuted, we should love. Love is hope. It does not express himself in despair or self-pity. Love is goodness. It does not express himself in evil. A man who does not love will not forgive. A man who cannot who, who will not forgive cannot what? Cannot love. And then when you does not when you do not forgive god cannot show his mercy and forgiveness on you a man who does not love will not forgive and a man who will not forgive cannot receive god's divine mercy and favor tell your neighbor a man who does not love will not forgive. A man who will not forgive cannot receive God's mercy and favor. Yes. God cannot entrust his power on man who does not love. A man who does not love cannot be entrusted with God's power to heal because he will be looking for his enemy. God's power to deliver because he will be looking for his family to deliver. A man who does not love cannot be entrusted with God's power to bless because he will be looking for his friend to bless. You will say, where is my friend? Because he has God's power, will bless his friend. His enemy who will curse him. Curse him the more. Tell your neighbor, a man who does not love cannot be entrusted with God's power to bless because he will be looking for his friend to bless. He will be looking for his brother to deliver. So, can you see the love, the mightiness in love? And I say pray for the church for unity and love. When we talk of power to heal, you are talking of love. When you talk of power to bless, you are talking of love. When you see someone who says, be blessed, and the person is blessed, knowing is an embodiment of love. When you see a minister of God that will tell you in his crusade, will say, in the name of Jesus, be healed, and you see the person here, and begin to, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. 
knowing that the minister is an embodiment of love. When you see a minister of God that will say, be delivered, and the person is delivered immediately, say, I'm delivered now, I'm free now. Knowing that that minister that delivered him is an embodiment of love. Because a man who does not love others cannot be entrusted with God's power to deliver. Because he will be looking for his word, his family to deliver. And his enemy will remain on the seat or will cost them more. A man who does not love cannot be entrusted with the power to bless because he will be blessing people and use it to enrich money, getting money from people who will bless you and collect money from you, deliver you and collect money from you, heal you and collect money from you. The money will be so plenty. Collecting money from people, collecting money from people. Such person can, cannot be entrusted. If you hear that one minister collecting money, 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 and he's healing people, it's not he. Go and find out. Healing and money does not go like that. You don't take your time to study carefully. He collect money from people he heal. He's not healing them. When you take your time, you know that the person is not here. That you hear somebody and collect money, God will not release such power. Because it's not trade by bad. It's not trade by butter. That you are, you are sick and I be healed in Jesus' name. And you are healed. And I collect money from you. You can never be healed. Because of money exchange. If you want to bless the minister, you will not bless him because you need healing from him. You bless him because he comes from your heart. I want to leave you here. I'm looking at the time. Don't let him forget myself. Are you there? Yeah. Imitation is the crisis that we are facing in the ministry. Imitation. Say imitation. imitation. That's it. Imitation of order. You, I will imitate you. You will imitate me. You do like this. I will do like this. You look at the way I do it. Next time you do your own. And when that thing is not working properly, condemnation and accusation. Because the Bible says, there is no one like you and there will be never be anyone like you that's what the bible say the bible say there is no one and there will never be anyone like you tell your neighbor tell your neighbor there is no one read it again there is no one and there will never be anyone like you. That is God's record for you and I. Tell your neighbor, that is God's record for you and I. Look, no, listen, read your Bible. The record of God for you and I, there, will, there is no one and there will never be anyone like you. So if there is no one like you, there will be no room for you to envy. There will be no room for you to war or be jealous. Have you ever learned that I jealous anyone before? Because I'm content. I'm okay. What, what do I want again? Eh? What, what will I want? What do I want? The peace is there. I'm okay. But when you see somebody who is jealousy, fighting, 
crazy crisis, this one is no good, that one is no good, you will know there are people like him and he's not content and what he's doing is an imitator of people. You copy this, you copy that, you copy this one, you copy this one, this one will say, oh, no, no, in Jesus' name, oh, no, no, in Jesus' name. Another one will say, Amen, Amen. You are copy, copy what? One will say, Praise the Lord. You two will say, Praise the Lord. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything. You copy, 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 copy. So you will never be war. You will never be content. You continue to run and run and run and you cannot reach your goal. No, it's not a cause. I'm not cursing. I'm telling you what the Bible says. You are you are imitator of others. This one will say, Amen. You copy. Anytime you want to talk, you say, Amen. Another one say, Hallelujah. You say, Hallelujah. How many people will you copy? You can never get to your goal because you continue to copy. You see another person that jumps again. You jump again. How many people will you copy? Your life is full of copy. And the Bible says there is no one and there will never be anyone like you. The problem in the church is what? Imitation. When the Spirit does not suggest to you, you have nothing to do than to copy. When the Spirit does not what? What next? There are two servants in the church, those to whom the Spirit of God suggests, and those who imitate others. Tell you about there are two servants in the house of God. This is the problem we are facing today. Those to whom the Spirit of God suggests, and those who imitate others. Again, those to whom the Spirit of God suggests. And and those who imitate others. So the crisis in the house of God are brought about by those who imitate others. But those to whom the Spirit of God suggests, they are content because there is no one and there will never be anyone like them. There is no one, and there will never be anyone like them, those to whom the Spirit of God suggests. There is no one, and there will never be anyone like them. If the Spirit of God suggests to you what to do, he will not, what he asks you to do, he will not give it to another person again. He will give you as a package, so that you can be the center of your world. He will not give this one the same thing, 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 this one, because he wants us to be at the center of our own world. But when you begin to copy and meditate, imitate others, you copy, 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 copy. Thank you. I will leave you here. If there is no one like you, there will be no room for you to envy because you are okay. Or being jealous. The reason why you keep jealousy, keep envy, because everything about you, even your dress, some, as we are talking now, they have gone to the to the car park to look at the best car they are parked. They want to go and buy it tomorrow. Some will sit down and say, ah, I like this attire. My God. They will look for money anywhere. They must buy it this week. 
Some will look at eyelashes. Say, this eyelash is, is blicky. It's blicky. They will go and fix it tomorrow. When will you control this? And time is war. Why can't you allow the spirit to suggest it to you? If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. Some, even to war, they look at the other. Some, I know some of my people in the past when they want to laugh, say, <laughs> but now, <laughs> I say, my friend, laugh now. You don't laugh like this. <laughs> it's a style. I know some of my people in the when we want to eat, I know they always see us when the food is on the table. But nowadays, <laughs> if you eat with me like that, I'll feel the food. <laughs> because because I'm very raw. If I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I don't play with anything. Those who have traveled with me, those who know me well, when you put food on the table, I lay the food. When you are doing like, mm, mm, I feel the food. <laughs> Before you know it, you order another one. If you are not careful, I finish it. So, so the problem, the war, not only church, when I'm talking of the church, I'm talking of the foundation. Because the Spirit of God is our guy. The whole war, your company, your business, the reason why you don't have peace and you don't sleep, because you imitate others. You are not content. Hey, your friend visited me. You are looking for money to go next month. God give you good stature. That is normal stature. You saw your friend very slim. You went inside the machine. The machine scraped you some of the part of your body. <laughs> I will want to leave you. When you get home, you take your time to read that book of uh, First Corinthians. Eleven, First Corinthians eleven, verse one. Let's read together. First Corinthians eleven, verse one. Are you ready? Imitate, imitate me. Read la aloud. Imitate me, just as I also imitate cry. I can hear you. I can hear you. Imitate me just as also imitate cry. Who is talking here? Who? Read your Bible from that beginning to the end. We we'll, we we'll continue next week and I will let you know who is talking. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. Listen to my suggestion. When you say Paul, is it Paul that is talking about the Spirit of God? There are two natures in one person. Paul and Prophet Paul. Tell your neighbor. There are two persons in one there are two natures in one person. There are two natures in one person. If you say Paul, Mr. Paul and Prophet Paul. So the person talking there was Prophet Paul. And the Spirit of God in him is the one talking. It's not Paul. Like I'm here today, there are two natures in me. Mr. T.B. Joshua, Prophet T.B. Joshua. You are not here to meet Mr. T.B. Joshua. You are here to meet Prophet T.B. Joshua. Who is talking there? 
Who is talking? The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God in Paul. I say, there are two servants now in the church. Those to whom the Spirit of God suggests. And those who imitate others. Tell your neighbor again, there are two servants and there are two worshippers. What I'm saying now, both the worshipper and the we ministers of God, we are falling into these two categories. Prophet, bishop, pastor, evangelist, uh, pastor, uh, Christian, we are all falling into these two categories. Two servants and two, I mean, two worshippers. Those to whom the Spirit of God suggests. Number two, those who imitate others what they, they, they what they are reading every day is what they are preaching to you which is not supposed to be so they read a lot of book a lot of book a lot of author have written a book about first new testament old testament ish apostle books 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 books, books. they have read so much and this is what they are telling you but it's good to read, but we must examine all this in the light of God's word. After reading, we must allow the Spirit of God to suggest. So when we say, those who imitate others, what they read, what they hear, what they see others doing, they, they imitate it. So you can become pastor by that by what you have read so far. You can become pastor, bishop, prophet, Christian. What you see, hear from people, you watch channel, you can just come together and you become, you study them, you pray the word, you preach, you pray. So there is other worshiper, other servants. The other servant, which when you uh, when you receive this suggestion from spirit and the spirit of God is the one direct you, your step, you will be content. But when you hear, you imitate others, what you have read, what others do or what others say is what you are using to, to preach, to pray and whatever, you can never be content. And when you are not content, definitely envy and jealousy. You will think other are using means. When you say in the name of Jesus, as Paul said, remember several sources of Sceva. He went out to say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. As Paul said, the God of, as Jesus Christ said, but the Satan, resist them because they are imitators of others. Thank you. I know that uh, my, 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 my our woman can start somewhere now and now you will begin to have peace. I mean, can you see what you are talking about? The anointing water, writing, rewrite your history. It's people cheated you, people have hated you, people have, I mean, they think uh, they can just, uh, I mean, after helping them, they refuse to pay you back, but the law fighting for you. So the gap we are talking about, so bring this gap, the gap is too much, now it has to begin now. The anointing water is there, you, it, this is just the beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Allow our moment to go, I mean, thank you, thank you, I want to meet her, I want to meet her, congratulate her. Thank you. It should wait for me. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have many people that uh, the Lord have uh, uh, blessed because of time. Look at the time. I want to do my job before the wise men come out. So um, last week I was talking about the job for graduates. And I said, apart from God given us anointing water, me too, I'm, I'm, I have my own in my pocket here. <laughs> the anointing water, it's with me here. 
I spread it. I God give it to all. You think he, because he used my hand to give you. I told you my own is water. His own is anointing. So I spray my own. The, the two weeks ago when I spread it, I said, God, the gap between poor and the rich is too much. Most of the salary, the graduate, graduate, they are everywhere, no job. Lord, I want you to please bless me. Let me be in position to help them. Mm -hmm. So to help them. And uh, this my birthday, like I have said, it will be a, an assignment for me, anybody I meet that is in the position. If God put you there, you have, you are a chairman of the company, and you are a, into that position, chairman of the company, bank, or whatever other company, you are there, director, general, whatever. I want to compile their own name. And every month, you must give me, you must you must provide employment for two graduates. And I, will, I don't want anything from you. Your money, keep it to yourself. At least I will comply their name. I'm, I'm writing the name now. I have written almost uh, 2,500 now. So if your company is dead, we, revive, we, we give you a, a resurrection. It will revive. So my own is to pray for your company. Your own is to employ the gra undergraduate that have no job. <laughs> I, I have compiled the name 2,000. 2, Other countries all over the world too. I'm going to, I will be traveled to meet them. The meeting with them is, I will pray with you. The Lord will, 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 will revive your company. You, you give me at least job for the graduates. Graduates, they are everywhere. If you listen to them, you, you really, you'll be afraid of future. You know what I mean by being afraid of future? Me, I'm afraid. The future is very, very, if something is not done quick, you will not be able to sleep and close your two eyes in future. The graduates, 10% of graduates, they are without job. That, I, I, okay, sorry. I mean, 10% have job, 90% without job. I mean, 90% without job, all over the world. <laughs> Tomorrow will be very tough. There is not your... You carry your car like this, they will beat you and remove, your, and remove you from your car. And carry your car, go and say, please. They'll say, oh, you're wrong. You will start running. <laughs> Tomorrow is very tough. We have to come together and do something now. If you think you have something and you sleep well, <laughs> for you to sleep well, we must do something now. 90% of graduates all over the world, they are without job. And those who are working, they are just going out because they cannot sit at home. So my duty now, I've embarked on that since two weeks now. I compile the name all over the world. I'm going to carry this campaign. I know many all over. Give me a job at least graduate. If you can employ <laughs> graduate, start from 10. If you can give me a good job for them, and they, I'm seeing them going home, going out, putting on tie, suit, and they do like this, look at the rich wash. <laughs> I'll be very happy. Eh? Putting on a very good tie, suit, what does time say? Okay, it's two, two. Okay, it's a minute to two. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> that is the problem I'm having now. That is, you say happy birthday. Which kind of birthday you want to celebrate? If you give me a job, you, help, you okay, we talk. 
Many of you will come here. If I know you are in position, you come here, you know, I will not allow you to see me. If I see the record that you are not giving me a job, I'm employed, I'm, I'm jobless now. What is happening to the graduates is what is happening to me now. Unless you give them a job. If you give them a job, you become my friend. Yes, it's a serious issue. It's a serious I have carried my campaign everywhere, not Nigeria, all over. I compiled 2,000 Nigeria so that I know they're in the position I know them. It's what I say, hello, hello. Uh, so I, I, I want you to cancel me. Please, I'm not cancel you. Give me a job. <laughs> I'll cancel you every day. Can, can money solve my problem now? I realize that money cannot solve my problem. The problem on the ground now is only job can solve it. There is no amount of money you can give me that will, I'm disturbed. So if you give me a job and I see people going to war and they come on the phone, I, thank you, sir. I'm now, the job is okay, sir. I have two bedroom flats, sir. I'm, I'm, I will be doing my remedy two months. Two months. <laughs> thank you, sir. I'll be very happy. They want to go out just like you. How can somebody finish university? What is on the ground now is, is, is a bad signal to those who are in the university. This is, does not encourage them to read. When they land at a first class, second class, they are on the street without job. Do you think these our children will, will, will concentrate in their study? They will say, okay, if I study now and I have first class, I'll be on the street. Why are you wasting my time? We should be able to tell them that, look, there is hope. So please, I think because of time, the campaign status is last week. Well, I don't want to make noise because if you want to be my friend, that is the condition. You must get us job. There is, if anybody says there is no job, they are lying. There is job. You know what I mean? There are many, there is job. Bring out your 30, 30 million from the bank and let us, we are going to talk about, if you say you cannot give me a job, I will tell you that you have something that can give job. Bring out money, let us share it to this graduate. Let us train them, give them, I mean, there is no graduate you give 500,000 naira, half a million and you train them how to go into business, they will not make it. It's not necessarily they will go to a job, they will start going to work, go to the company. No! If you cannot give job, just half a million of naira. If you put it down and we train this graduate, the career they should follow, before till it to form on, they will start travel and get Instead of travel to another country, they will go and do business and come. We, we, before you know it, the issue is revived. 500,000. Well, let's listen to Last week, I called on the, a job that is, I mean, I don't want to mention. People rally around last week and I cry to them that, there was some one or two people that called me and I said, look, I'm not happy. They say, what happened, man of God? I said, you are in a position to get me a job. I said, ah, which job? He thought I'm the one looking for a job. I said, yes, I'm the one looking for a job. I said, look, this is the problem we are facing now. The, all over the world, we have to try something. I will be very happy. If I started there, I know the whole world listened to me. Many also were back on this, this program. If every church and all over community and the organization embark on forcing or telling their people that they are the people that are in position to get the graduates, get them job, I think instead of campaigning for money, prosperity, this one is more than money. Give me job, I don't need your money. Please carry your car. So I think that will change the situation better. So, I talked to three of them. After two days, they called me back that uh, they are very sorry. Uh, they, they, they 10 graduates, but instead of 10, it's 24 now. 
That's it. Uh huh. Um, people of God, Emmanuel. Before you talk, when I was talking on Emmanuel TV, you know, Emmanuel TV is all over the world. Different people all over the world, all over the came. But something maybe I'm, I'm campaigning for my member. What is member? When the Bible says your membership at your local church is mere symbolic. The essence of church is what? Christ in you, the hope of glory. The essence of the church is Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's not that member of synagogue. Oh, be the member is just a symbolic. The name I mean, member of synagogue that will not give you a ticket to enter the kingdom of God. It is the righteousness of God. So people were thinking that, but I'm happy that sometimes when I learn people. Uh, I mean, people talk, people you are talking to, they are not happy with you. When you mention TV Jota is this, TV Jota is that, your member, 99% of their member, when any pastor stands and says TV Jota is, is not good, 99% of people they are talking to, they are not happy. And when you continue, each week you continue to lose member. <laughs> each, each week you continue to lose member because 99% when you say Tim Jota is this uh, and the seeker is in the bucket <laughs> look let me tell you before you talk about Tim Joshua or you sit down in any organization or church first of all go to the car park your car park and look at the car there 99% of the car park is T.B. Joshua sticker. <laughs> Whom are you talking to? You? So, so, if I, if I can stand here and I call graduate, out of 24, people that were inside the church are just only two. The rest, 22, they are from different churches. They are here. They are from them. They are from them. Here. People of God, Imam. Take it easy. We'll give you a chance to talk. You know the reason why he's crying. He, he discovered the truth, and they are telling him that truth is not true. He said, ah, How can he see the truth now? And he's crying. He's crying. He said, no. He said, look at what he's saying. Uh, your membership at your local church is merely symbolic. The essence of true church is Christ in you, the hope of glory. If that is the case, come to my church. My church is the best. Come and watch it with me. It's a wrong teaching. You may carry your tithe, your thanksgiving, and pay it to another living church. It's as good as your church. He's crying because he's not happy. He first of all tell you people the challenge he will be facing now. He may not, they may not want to accept him in, in the family again. Uh, he's telling you many things that is facing him, but he has got a job. Can you see what I was talking about? You know, that was my message today. I said, we are one. Where are we going? I said, my birthday, pray for the unity and love for the church of God. Okay. My, my daughter, don't worry, don't worry. Can you just <laughs> let my daughter rest? Is, uh, I mean, he will not be able to talk again. Let's just leave him, give it to another person. I want to meet, I want to meet her. 
give it, <laughs> give it to another person. Please don't don't allow her to talk again. <laughs> she's crying now. She's worried. Say, ah, what is all this? Uh huh. Next, she said she touched him on TV because she she always have an attack in the dream. And why she touched him on TV? Let hear the testimony. Tell us. Let's hear the testimony. Okay, tell us the, the challenges you are facing, the trouble you are having. Yes. So, I usually see myself in the dream. You, you usually see? Yes, locked up in a dark room. Then there are soldiers that surround the room. Is anytime you sleep? Yes, sir, I don't. I've never seen lights. I've never. Please, can you listen? Can you see? You are a member of my church, and you, anytime you sleep, the soldiers around you, you never see light. But I will be telling you that that church is not good. Our own is the best. Uh -huh. So can you see the reason why we should preach salvation and not church? So that when I'm talking to you, my message will not ban you from not going to another church. When I preach to you, and I'm not preach church, that my church is the best, don't go anywhere. When you live here, if you have anything you need to go and get in another church, you can go there. If I'm not sent to you, and someone's somewhere, a pastor is sent to you to deliver you, and I'm not the one that sent to you, and you come here. If I'm not telling you this is the best church, don't go anywhere, it means you die here with your problem. That problem will kill you. Talk now. Yes. Because you will not see any reason to go and, and look for someone God sent to you. You see, the sister is dying. Mm -hmm. So that night that I prayed with Emmanuel TV that I laid my hand on, I, you, I saw you in my dream. You now asked me, what can I do for you? So because I was so confused, as in I had a lot of problems, so I, I didn't know which of them to mention, whether to tell you about my family, that my parents died mysteriously, my two elder sisters that got married, their husband died uh, mysteriously, or that my family is in shambles, or that I, my life has never been anything to write home about for 35 years. Imagine, I had to take on a job, and they are paying me 2000 and I, I was okay with it because I... <laughs> he said a graduate is working, and they are paying her 2000 naira. Graduate. And he's receiving 2000 naira. Okay. So after you 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 laid your the the um, and prophet Tibu Joshua laid his hand upon me in that dream and now tell me that you are delivered. So I started shouting, I'm delivered in Jesus' name. And then that was when I saw myself opening those doors. It was not just one door, several doors that I had to open and I was saying in the name of Jesus. That was when I opened the seventh door, eighth door, and I came out for the first time in my dream. I saw light, and I was like, this is where my deliverance lies. That's why I've been coming, and I'll be like, God, God, God please help us, help my family and I. Then I want you to tell your neighbor, your membership at your local church <laughs> is merely symbolic. Essence of the church essence of the true church is Christ in you, the hope of glory. This, hey, this, this means you can pay your tithe to any living church. It's as good as your church. 
the message, come and worship me, with me. Worship with me, my church is good, is a wrong message. grateful that when I came that Sunday I didn't I wasn't I didn't expect I was going to be taken. I, I was let me just try my best because I know the politics and propaganda that is in churches that you have to be a member and a very regular member before you are given any opportunity for any um, position and um, job um, offers like that. So but I was surprised after they had the screening even did we, <laughs> The day we even came, every time we, we were invited, he would give us um, money to go back home. And I'll be wondering, uh, the prophet TV Joshua, he would give us money to go back home. And I'll be wondering that this man, so what I'm seeing on television is really for real. It's not just um, make believe. So, uh, and, and thank God, I, I now have a job, a federal job, and I'm so grateful to God. And I want to say thank you. Look. Look. Do you know what you are going to embark on, my brother Sandor? If you give a job to a, a graduate, it's more than giving them 10 billion era. If you can get a job, go all your way and get a job to a graduate, somebody who finished a university, first degree, second degree, and is roaming about, and you can get him a job, and you are sure the job is stable, and you get him a job and they're now going to work. Going to work is more than giving them ten million dollars. So please tell your neighbor and back on this. Sit down. Tell your neighbor and back on this project. Get your neighbor a job. Good job. In Jesus' name. Man of God, I want to thank you very much. And my prayer ever since I came to know you and to love you, I always say, God, please let heaven not elude him in Jesus' name. So you two will live long so that we can use you. You can be praying for us in Jesus' name. I know your prayer. You want somebody who will not leave this world, who will continue to live, continue to live, continue to live. And pray for your grand grand grandchildren. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Next. Praise the Lord. And people of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. If God is with us, I am Angin Teresa Atimanu. I come from Obanikuluku government in Cross River State. I am a Catholic and I schooled in the University of Calabar. I studied agri education. I have been an applicant for three years. By the grace of God, I am one of the graduates that came forward last Sunday after an announcement for employment. And I thank God that uh, the screening exercise has been concluded. My testimony is I am not staying in Lagos and I'm not, I've never been associated with uh, uh, the synagogue church, though I have it in channels, we watch it at home. But my mother has been very sick. That has been a challenge. So. We decided after going around, we've been to hospitals, no results, so we've concluded that it's a spiritual attack. So I actually came here with my mom last weekend. And while coming, she now advised that I should carry my credentials. When she said it, I said, it's true, because... I've... Listen to my mom. <laughs> mom that was sick and they brought her here, Mama call her daughter, carry your resort. 
that woman is a prophetess. Tell your neighbor, a woman may be sick in body, yet be a friend of God. She's a friend of God. She's sick, and they were bringing her to the synagogue for prayer. It, uh, have you carried your resort, your document? I want to meet that woman one on one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Emmanuel. But I, I now suggested to my mom, I said, since we don't really have anywhere to stay in Lagos, we need to make consultation with people that have been, that are familiar with the church. So I went and asked somebody. In fact, I asked a few persons, and the impression I got wasn't too pleasant, that since my mom is seriously sick, that uh, it would be a waste of uh, resources, that if I come, I have to be a member for six months at uh, the entrance to the that, church. That, that is another tactic they are using now. <laughs> when TV Dutra is devil, that one is not working. Mm -hmm. They will discourage you that you cannot see the man. And even you may be there for one year. That is enough. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I didn't give up. And I told my mom, I said, let's go. If we come, in fact, I told the lady that told us that my mom had advised that I should carry my credentials. I know I'm very intelligent, but I don't see any reason why I go for employment. I mean, I go for interviews, I pass, and I'm not being called. I think this is not my ground. My ground needs to be changed. So I now joined my mother's faith, and I came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Luckily for us, the protocols I had were not seen. I came on Sunday, I was allowed inside the church. My mom was in church, and it became my own now. An opportunity came for a job. And my mom said, you see, I told you to bring your credentials. On Monday morning, when she was about leaving, because my dad now started, you know, he started calling that she should come back, that mass is over. So Monday, I almost went with her, but she said, stay. I said, no, didn't you hear? They said, it's for teachers. You know, I've somehow been a choosy applicant. So my mom said, this job is from the altar. It's from the altar of uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Stay. This one will not be like the regular teaching job. So I now had to stay. And all through, I didn't have much money. Prophet T.B. Joshua, I'm not a member of the synagogue. I've never patronized the church, but my feeding and accommodation, or our feeding and accommodation for one week that we've been here, he took care of it. Mm. I am honestly really humbled by your humility and your disposition for the less privileged, the homeless, the motherless, the widows, the orphans, the God that brought you to this world, I think he still have something to do with you. I am writing a book, and it's sort of, I am a youth activist, and I'm trying to advise my nation. I'm sorry, most times I think I broke myself, but I think I want uh, the politicians to come for proper consultation. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh -huh. If we allow, if we allow divine directives in in selection of a ruler in our nation, Nigeria, I think the world would be a better place. I saw, I've seen a lot of people around here, and they are out there. There are a lot of impression, negative impression. But I thank God that I'm just one week old here, and I'm even privileged to be talking as, as a working class, you know, lady. I have a job that I didn't stress for, and this is the very first time an opportunity has come. Your church was not asked, 
Initially, I was like, don't they have graduates in this church? It should have been a, an opportunity for a man of God to call his family members, to call his church members, and allow them to enjoy this privilege. But right in the altar, it was thrown open. And that was my first visit, and I benefited. To God be the glory. Thank you. You listen to that? Yes, the whole thing was thrown open when thousand people turn up the second day for just 20 people they are looking for. And I let them know that, look, they are each love first. They should not ask anybody, where are you worship? Please, don't ask anybody. Everybody here, you should not ask which church are you going? Where are you worship? Are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Don't ask anybody. All we are all human beings first. They need food on the table. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, we need food on the table. <laughs> Give them food. All we are saying. Give us more. Food on the table. If you give me food on the table, you can talk to me. Sir, if I give you food, then I can ask you, what is your name? Where are you worship? Where are you coming from? Are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Then I feed, I fed you. I have not given you food. And their food now is job. Give these people job. After giving them job, you cannot ask them, okay, now you have got job. Now, where are you from? Where, are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Then you cannot take that job from them. Whether it's a Muslim or a Christian, you cannot take it. You have given the job already. Yes. Now you can talk to them, but that job is there. Give food. Food on the table first. That is my principle. That is my belief. When I meet you, the first thing, food. When you have the strength, I mean, we can talk. You are not giving food, and you are telling me, uh, I need only Christian, only name synagogue church. and you are not giving food. If that means that food is not from God. If that food is from God, that job is from God, God is the creator for everyone. So thank you, Ness. Don't, we are taking time, but it's a lesson to everyone. So what we are trying to do today, we are talking of how church and all can unite. How people can unite by strongest bond of law. How people can unite by war. Yes, that is. If we all unite and we lift our voice to God, God will hear us. Next. So I will see my sister after the meeting because of time. Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. I am one of the happiest person here today. My name is Ibezima Kwamrize from Onega River State. Emmanuel. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm an assistant pastor or acting pastor of Assemblies of God in my place. So I have a problem, challenges of life, frustration, debt. So I look at what is happening in my place. If you are not a courtist, you cannot get employment in my place. And when you get, if somebody gave you the job, it's always kill and divide. You work, at the end of the month, the person will take half, you will take half. So, all over the whole place, it's just the same. I have no choice, I decide to join court. So, you need deliverance? Yes, sir. But that will not take your, the, this job from you. After your deliverance, you, you live at peace and serve your God. Okay? So, you need deliverance. Thank you, sir. So, thank you, thank you. So, please, because of time, 
Can we just ask one their name, their name, their name, their name, where they come from, and let us move, move forward. The lesson, brother, the lesson you should learn from today. God is the creator of everyone. Before you can talk to anyone, food on the table. When you want to help someone, don't ask where is worship. Give him that job. After you have given the job, you can talk. But you now begin to talk. Where are you from? Are you a member of synagogue? Are you a Christian? Okay, you are not. Before you give the job, that job is not from God. Every woman be deserve food. Thank you. You know, she child without my. So they refuse to give her what he starts saying, Iman, Iman. <laughs> okay, please, thank you. Now, like I have said, your assignment now is to get people job. And I know if you really mean it, you that are in position to do it, if you really mean it now, because the anointing water, I will. If you have a job now you want to give those people in position, I want to gather you, I want to, I, I mean, there are many of you I don't know for the first time, I will write your name, I will hand over anointing water for you, for your company, for your company that want to give job. I'm not giving you with condition. I'm giving you because the work of that anointing water is to change your life, change your company, transform you. So please, after the meeting here today, I want to see you waiting behind. And uh, please, there is job. If anybody says there is no job, there is job. So allow them, let them go and wait for me. Please, I will be meeting them after the meeting. So this is, these are the people that uh, the Lord has given job. And uh, by next week, I want to come out to call on at least 20 people again. At least people can come for an interview, a new interview. So, and I know all over the world, as I'm talking viewers, all over, my people, the, anywhere in the world, either Asia, Indonesia, and I know they are listening to me, that we have partners all over the world, please, all we are saying, give us jobs. There are many graduates on the street, qualified candidates without job, please. And I'm here, appeal to you, and our God will never let you down. Amen. If you give one job, the company will transform from small to big. Amen. Big testimony. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, the anointed water. With, with, with issue of job now, with issue of this job, God has to release us to give the anointing water. When I said it, I'm not saying anointing water is coming today. Oh. And, and, and I'm only telling you that God will release this anointing water. But when? That is the question. We want those who are in position of authority all over the world. You have company somewhere and the Lord has blessed you. Please, these people, I will, I mean, I'm here to stand for you as your friend, praying with you. I mean, you have a friend, lawyer friend, you have accountant friend, you have all the professional. But I want to be one of the, your, 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 Prophet, friend, I want to be your friend. Get me job, please. Just get me job there. So, and I want to assure you, like I have said, your membership at your local church is merely symbolic. The essence of true church, I'm not saying church, true church, the essence of true church is Christ in you, 
the hope of war. So in this case, if I now stand here to tell you that come and watch it with all, here is salvation. Come here is a wrong message. That is not going to help church of God. Don't let us preach this. You can live here and decide not to pay your tithe here. You see, you know a church of God that you know that meets your, your tithe, your thanksgiving, go there and pay. It's as good as giving it to your church. So that is the meaning of your membership at your local church. It's merely symbolic. The essence of true church is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Thank you very much. Stretch your hand. I, I, I thought I would be able to move around, but I want to allow the wise men to come out. But I will pray with you now. So, well, but the anointing water you are yearning for. Why I'm living here, the wise men will be here. And I, I too will go inside the room, pray that God, I was not here from God before coming out to give anointing water, but with what we are saying now, tip for that, we need people to give job. And people want to give job, say they need anointing water. You are ready, if you are ready to give your raise up your hand. But what do you need? <laughs> People say they are ready to give job, but they need anointing water. Because most of the people that will give job, eighty percent of people giving job, they have trouble, and they know anointing water can put an end to that. I will give that anointing water to you. Are you ready to give job? Thank you. Thank you for giving job. I will give anointing water to you, to your company, to your wife, to your husband. Those who want to give job, listen, those who want to give job, you will receive anointing water, you husband, you wife, one for your children, one for your company. So, Please, can I talk to the viewers? Viewers all over the world. You have, you have seen and you have listened to the testimony of people. Please, you can say it later. You have heard and you have seen the testimony. What, what a joyful thing for a pastor not to ask, are you a member of synagogue? For a pastor not to ask, are you a Christian? For a pastor not to even ask anything. He said, food on the table first. Give them food. All oh, we are saved. Give us food. <laughs> so, viewers, all over the world, if you are in a position and you know you can get a job, we want to have this meeting. I will be there. If you give 10 jobs, I will be on my knee praying for your company. <laughs> and I will ask you, give me the name of your company, your challenges. I will be on my knee praying for your company. And the moment you release that 10 job for 10 graduates, you two, you will come back to tell me that the company multiply. <laughs> the the job we are talking about is not any for my family, but I'm telling you God is the creator of everyone. Amen. Your peace is my peace. Your pain is my pain. So forget about you are a member of the synagogue. You are a member of the, you are a Christian. No! If you are not a Christian, should we allow you to, to drive? To, to, uh, should we allow hunger to kill you? The greater disease and the greater trouble today is poverty. People want to have job. People want to go to job, to work. Allow them, when you give job, arm robbery will reduce, killer will reduce, kidnapper will reduce, crime will reduce, 
corruption will reduce? You see people, young people, having children every month because they have no job. They give birth to a baby every month. Population over population. Poverty is the cause. When you enter any family and you see children, 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 that's them, it's poverty. If you have a good job, you will not have time for all this. You know, you that have job, you know the time you come back from job one. Will you be able to sit down with your wife or your wife sit down with you and tell you that he, has, he need a child? Stretch your hand, Father, we thank you. Open your lips, see power over your life, over your finances, over your career, over your future. Begin to break it, break it, see power. See power. Vos lèvres, la puissance du péché sur votre carrière, sur votre famille, vos finances, tu viens de les briser dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Dios te romperá el poder de pecado sobre ti, sobre tu familia, en el nombre poderoso de Jesús, que van de poder de pecado sobre ti. your life over your career in the name of Jesus be broken see power over your life be broken see power over your finances be broken over your career be broken begin to rebuild power of immorality power of immorality power of idolatry Power of disobedience, power of unfaithfulness, power of unfaithfulness, power of hatred, power of greedy, begin to rebuild them. Chaselen, quebrantalos, con el nombre de Jesús, todo poder de desobediencia y moralidad, idolatría, desobediencia, quebrante el poder de pecado en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. La puissance du péché sur votre vie, sur votre carrière, sur vos finances, qu'elle soit brisée. La puissance d'idolâtrie, d'infidélité, d'avarice, comme de les briser dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Viewers all over the world, where can you go from his presence? Power of disobedience be broken in the name of Jesus. Power of immorality be broken in the name of Jesus. Power of idolatry be broken in the name of Jesus. Power of unfaithfulness be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus be broken. See power over you be broken. See power over you be broken. See power over your life be broken. See power over your life be broken. See power over you be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken, be broken, be broken, in the name of Jesus. Open your lips and begin to reboot them all challenges in your life. Prayer. A chasser tous les défis dans votre vie. Prie. Empieza a revocar todos los retos, desafíos en su vida en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Ore. Continuez de prier, télécédateurs, la puissance d'immoralité, de l'infidélité, la désobéissance, la varice dans votre vie soit brisée dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Continuez de briser cette puissance, la puissance du péché dans votre vie, dans votre carrière, dans votre vie familiale, dans vos finances. Que cette puissance du péché soit brisée dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Televidentes de todo el mundo, continúe orando. Que plante el poder de pecado sobre ti en el nombre poderoso de Jésus-Christ. Ore. As we continue in the atmosphere of prayer, 